Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Sprouts Farmer's Market. This is a cherry dark chocolate brownie mix. It is with decadent dark chocolate, sweetened dried tart cherries. It is a 16 ounces, 16.8 ounce box, 478 grams. It's $5.99. $5.99 at Sprouts Farmer's Market. So what you need for this recipe, you need two eggs, one tablespoon of water, and a third cup of vegetable oil. You also need this packet. That's all that comes in the box. We're gonna leave that right there. You need an eight by eight inch pan, and you need to spray it. I use the Great Value Vegetable Oil, or you could use parchment paper if you want to. I just decided to use vegetable oil this time. Uh, preheat your oven to 325 degrees, and if you want, when you break your eggs, you can start out with them already in this bowl. The reason I put them in separate bowls is just to, to show you for the video. So, we're going to put our eggs, oil, and water all in the same bowl. And we're going to whisk it together. And then once we get it whisked together, we're going to add in our whole package of that brownie mix. And... Uh, Make sure, just make sure that it all turns a dark color. You'll know that it's, um, it's not, you don't see any powder anymore. It's all, it's all wet. extremely thick so pour it into your greased pan and then we're gonna bake this for 30 to 35 minutes so I will probably put it in the oven for 30 minutes and see how it looks um, normally when you're making a, a brownie mix now I haven't made one I haven't bought one in a while but they used to always say um, spray the sides but not the bottom this one didn't say that. This one said to coat the whole pan. So that's what I did. And I don't know why they always said that. I'm sure there was a reason behind it, but, but I just never knew it. Okay, so we're gonna get this in for 33 minutes and then we'll be back. This is how they look after 33 minutes. So we're gonna leave them here for a few minutes and let them cool and then we'll cut it into, cut the brownies into pieces. You are supposed to get 16 slices. So I'm gonna do the best I can. Okay, Kevin. <laughs> I said, I told her, look, this is my exact directions I told her. Yeah. Half, half, half. Half, yeah. half, half. I did half, half, half. No, you did half, half, half. I said half, half, half. Oh, your hand went a different direction. <laughs> she wasn't <laughs> observant. Okay, well, listen. Well, anyway, they're smaller. Listen, mine are smaller than they're supposed to be. Basically, but, we get two. But yeah, basically, you get two. I don't care. <laughs> what, whatever. <laughs> We, you know what? She's not a good listener. We can cut them as big or as small as we feel like it. It's okay. Some people probably cut theirs this small. Look at that. Look how cute those are. Those are mini brownies. Mm -hmm. That's adorable. <laughs> okay, we're still laughing over the way I cut these, but that's, I think that's cute. Uh, you just get two instead of one. Yeah, but, but that, I think it's adorable. <coughs> okay. I just think it's funny how she does not follow directions at all. What well, way do we go, Kevin? That way. I didn't say that. Go that way. <laughs> okay. It says, 
Prepare because who cares about the dry mix? Yeah, who's eating the dry who mix? is eating the dry Unless mix? Unless you're using it in another recipe, you can add it to the total, whatever. Right. We're not eating it that way. So it's 160 calories for a big one. Uh, so ours is half of that. Uh, let's see. Do not eat raw batter. Distributed by Sprouts Farmers Market in Phoenix, Arizona. Sprouts.com. Okay. That's actually not a bad size if you want to kind of keep your, uh, keep your calories low, like 80 calories per, per piece. And if you just eat one, you get the sweetness, you get the flavor, and then you move on with life. You know what? That's wow. nice. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It has a nice chocolate, mm -hmm. cherry flavor. Um, yeah, the texture's a little different than some of the brownies we've had. It's like the texture's a little, um, I don't know, cake, maybe cakey like, mm -hmm. not fudgy. We used to make ours fudge like. This is more uh, cake. It's more fluffy. Mm -hmm. I like the, the dark chocolate. Really, I thought I, I was. I wouldn't like the dark chocolate. I actually, like that. I do too. It is a nice. Um, it's not uh, bitter, or it, it's not bitter. It doesn't dry your mouth out or anything mm -hmm. like that. Uh, they're still a little bit warm mm -hmm. because we only had them sitting there for maybe ten minutes. And so they're still warm, but I really do like the, the combination of the chocolate and the cherry. And um, it's uh, it's not really sweet. No, it's not sweet, right? Um, but it, it's nice. This, um, we did, uh, we made, if you followed along, we have made scones, we have made muffins, and then we have made the brownie mix. Mm -hmm. And this would be the one that would be my favorite yeah. of the three. Of the three. I still, I wouldn't necessarily buy them again because I would rather have a milk, milk chocolate, a really rich chocolate. And something with a little sweet. And sweet. If but, I'm wanting brownies, I'm wanting something a little bit sweet. Yeah, but you kind of decadent. Yes. But, um, but of those three, mm -hmm. this would be the one I would buy. Because yes. the muffins really didn't have a lot of the cherry. They didn't in have, it. yeah. yeah. Uh, it was good texture, but it really didn't have a lot of cherry. Yeah, in. and even like after the video, when we ate more, you open those up and they're, yeah, they really just didn't matter. give you a lot of cherries. They, um, they just, it's supposed to be cherry. They didn't give you a lot of cherries. And the scones are, were good. They were kind of, uh, they didn't weren't very sweet either. They didn't have a lot of uh, um, like sweetness to them. They didn't have really much of anything. No. Wise. No, they were fine. I just more I, of a cocoa kind of flavor. This was easy. The scones yeah. were kind of, you know, you had to kind of know what you were doing with those, I think. Um, Kevin did a great job with them if you didn't watch the video, but you, th there's a few more directions to follow. This was basically mix it up in a bowl, throw it in the pan, and put it in the oven. Real simple. And uh, so I like that about this mix too. Um, also, you needed eggs, water, and oil, which is a basic brownie mix. Mm -hmm. the, you know, you didn't have to have milk or anything like that. Oh, so, okay. yeah, this, it was $6, though. I think that's high. Mm -hmm. I just know, I think if you already shop at Sprouts Farmer's Market, you know you're paying a higher price anyway. You don't it's need like me to tell you Fresh that. Market, Whole Foods, the co-op, whatever, yes. all those places. Yes, expensive. it's that's what this is like. This is more expensive, but it is a really nice store. Mm. Uh, so if they have these, uh, when this video comes out, if they're still offering these, out of the three, we would both choose the yeah, brownies. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.